This is a bit surprise. Stopping the finance ministry followed the delay of releasing their payment that parliament passed recently. However, the storming resulted into a scuffle between the operators and police that regarded the finance ministry. Madam, can you go away? Some of them were seen lying down on the road in protest, saying that they want to be paid. Police ended up arresting some of the members, trying to bring the situation to normal. According to the group, the government, the Uganda Coffee Development Authority, UCDA, signed an agreement with necessary bed operators from different parts of the country to supply coffee seedlings to farmers. When they contacted UCDA over their money, UCDA advised the seedling suppliers to be patient since the Minister of Finance was handling the matter. How could you just refuse to respect parliament in this way? We want our money. We shall not go back today. We are going to remain here in Kampala. We shall sleep here. We are not going back unless we are paid our money we shall not go back we supplied the coffee two three years ago or four most of us have not been paid money our uh, loans are on our necks our buildings have been uh, are being taken i have gone to in prison at around three times at least every year i have to enter in the prison i keep on going to court every day so i request the government more especially the, the president reentering in this issue. Farmers continue to wonder why the Minister of Finance has delayed to release their money. Before storming Minister of Finance, the group held a press conference at Central Park in Kampara where they expressed their concerns citing the delay of payment of their money has affected them. We have they say that their children are not studying because of not being paid, yet they supply the seeds to farmers. We have done a lot about giving out these seedlings to, 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 to the farmers, and we are not being paid. So we are asking the president to talk to these people of the parliament, they should pay us so that we take our children back to school. And also suffering from sicknesses, there is no money that we use for that. They accused the finance minister Honomati Akasaija for failing the group mission to get their money. They have threatened to sleep in Kampara until they are paid. We are not going back. We need Mati Akasaija also to pay us. We need our money, please. We also have problems. We have children. I came with my daughter and my wife. They have gone on to request President M7 to intervene into the matter. One of Banabas Tinkasi Mire Buyaga West constituents in Ikagadi district condemned the statute agencies for arresting the coffee and the bed suppliers who are demanding their money. It's very unfortunate and we call upon the, 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 the police authorities. Sometimes to also understand many of these people who are arresting them, that, that, those are their backgrounds. That's where they come from. Uh, Uganda is not, uh, not, going, not going to have any right at all. Hmm? No. They are dissatisfied and the best way they could is march to the office. Hmm? And I don't think that they have caused any form of, of were they violent? He said that as parliament, they are to demand an explanation from the Minister of Finance to why he has not paid the necessary bed operators, yet parliament it is the money. <laughs> The PRO Minister of Finance, Jim Muganga, when he contacted on phone, said that these coffee suppliers are seeking answers from the wrong direction. Julius Momza, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8. I think the people to ask are those who contracted them, who asked them to supply, not the Minister of Finance. The supplier is the one who should be asking the question. They were going in the wrong direction, I think. So my answer to you is, Minister of Finance did not contract them. And therefore, the best person to contact is the one who contacted them to supply the seedlings.